honestly believe this series we're doing right now is the best one I've been in. It's absolutely perfect. The lines are funny. It's a dead chicken. The characters are more developed. The storylines are fantastic. It's genuinely, it's awesome. So this is series five, the fifth and final series. Brace yourselves. Ah. Come to it with an open mind. Dish, 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 dish. This year's different. It's really been a special year. All the characters that we have in our game five um, have been established in the previous series. What? I think most people know that the storm, depending on how you felt and what you were going through on the day, depends on what power you receive. Fucking what? Some of them are powers, some of them are just, well in my case, problems. Just a problem, it's not a power, it's not cool. There's absolutely nothing to see here. There's two of me. Um, Rudy had a split personality disorder. I just think, I think we need to talk about our future together and, and I just, I thought you might want to be with me while we do it. John Gilgan. Chicken shit! Fuck! <laughs> My name's Joe! It's not John! Shit! Joe Gilgan. Actor, lover, the Rudies. Are you in there? If Rudy One's turned into an agent of Satan. There's a guy in this year that flies. I've been doing this for three fucking years. If you had to have a superpower, what would it be and why? Well, it's obviously flying, isn't it? Of course it's bloody flying. No one wants to grow an authoritative moustache for an hour or something stupid like that. She did, but swallow me full cornetto in one go, mate. It's giving me the worst brain. I thought I was gonna die for a minute. <laughs> what you want? I'm Natasha O'Keefe, and I play Abby. Mm. I've got my period. From the last series, it was sort of left as to where Abby's going and what she's about, and it um, unveils itself in this series. She's hilarious. So funny. You're funny. <laughs> you know. Yeah, everyone's so, they're all so funny. Brilliant, brilliant group of people. So I'm, I feel chuffed to be working alongside with them. Finn? No. He's too short to be the devil. Tenebris! <laughs> Jesus, fuck, you killed a chicken! My name's Nathan. You're not gonna believe what just happened to me? I play Finn. I'm just a cheeky little scouser. Hey, hey. He was new to it last year, um, to come back to, to season five. Finley! So I'm the socially awkward one. Not just in the show, just in general as well, as a person. Have you ever fucked a scout before? I haven't. I, I think the girl guy though. When we finished last season, our name, um, his power seems to get a little bit better. It goes back to how it was at the beginning of season four. It's quite nice to play, but I also would have liked some um, massive visual effects. But no, that hasn't happened. Seriously. Now we run with the ball, everyone knows what they're doing, the characters are clear, the writers can hear their voices. I love you. You can explore the characters, you can sort of drill down into their marrow and have a bit more fun with them. And now I'm going to fuck you and make you a bride of Satan. My name is Carla Crowe and I play Jessica Twat. My or her superpower is X-ray vision. In the last series, Jess had this sort of will they won't they on off relationship with Alex, the barman. That was Jess. She's dead. In the first episode, we get some closure on that relationship. She's not really dead. I was just trying to make you feel better. You cheated on me, and I can't forgive you for that. I'm Matt, and I play Alex, and I um, sex people's powers out of them. I'm not being funny, but you have to have sex with me. I've only just got out of surgery. The handsome Borman will be fully integrated into the gang. He'll be part of the community service gang. He'll do something bad and have to wear orange. Big mistake, my friend. <laughs> I fucking shag powers out of people. I don't even know if I've got this bloke's power. There's only one way to find out. I fucking hate oh, guys like you. Do you want me to stop? So this is the last ever season of Misfits, and in this series, the gang discover the power support group. They meet Maggie, who has the power to knit the future. These people here in these orange jumpsuits, is that us? GTA guy comes back into our world with a vengeance. All right. 
fighting it. Every day is a battle. Everybody in the gang get very excited that this might be their destiny. Are we going to become proper superheroes?